Now that we're talking about graphs, we're in a little bit of a better position to understand uh, what a tree is. So I'll put, you know, what is a tree? And I don't want to go too deep into this, but it is sort of interesting. So the first thing to note is that trees uh, are, I really cannot write. See, you guys wonder why I became a computer scientist because I have terrible handwriting. Um, trees are graphs. So every tree is a graph. So if I draw a tree here, let's make this a binary tree like the ones that we've been focusing on. This is a graph. If I move the nodes around, you maybe see it better. Maybe you're just so used to seeing binary trees in this way. You're like, well, that's a tree, but it's also a graph, right? These are nodes connected by edges. What distinguishes a tree from other types of graphs, though, is, is sort of interesting. So in a tree, there is exactly one path from every node to every other node. Um, so two nodes, I'm going to put this this way. Uh, if I have two nodes, one path. So if I pick any two nodes in my tree, there will be exactly one path connecting them. First of all, there will be a path connecting them. And second, there will be exactly one path connecting them. So one interesting way to think about this is to, th it, it, to think about this, or might, that might help explain it to you, is to think about this node that we have been referring to as the root. The root is the node that has no parent. Every, I should be able to find a path, there should be a single path back to the root from any node in the tree. Any node in the tree, if I just follow its parent nodes, I'm supposed to arrive at the root. And then when I get to the root, there's no parent and so I'm done. So if I want to find a path between two nodes A and B, let's say that A is over here and B is here, then one way is to, now this isn't going to give me the shortest path, right? But if I follow the path from A to the root, that gives me one path. And I know there's only one path from A to the root because at every stop, I just keep following the parent nodes. There's no choice here. So I just follow the parent nodes back till I get to the root. That leads to one path. If I start from B, I can do the same thing. I follow the parent nodes back to the root. That gives me one path. Now what I do is I factor out the common path, right? Uh, because I don't need to go all the way to the root in this case because these two paths meet right here. And so now I can see that there's one path in this, uh, in this tree, in this graph, from A to B. And if uh, B was over here in the other subtree, uh, I would do the same thing, except that it turns out that the path would actually go through the root, right? So some paths will go through the root, some paths won't, depending on where the nodes are in the tree. But you know, for me, at least thinking about, well, now I've got two Bs, I'll call this C. Thinking about this idea that there's one path back to the root, um, and then all I need to do is take the path from A back to the root and from C back to the root and remove any common nodes. So as soon as those two paths arrive at the same node, I can remove the rest of the trip to the root. Uh, so that's sort of an algorithm for finding the single path between any two nodes uh, in, in the tree. Um, and, oh, sorry, uh, I, need to, I need to be careful here. Okay, so it's actually one, one path. It's actually something called a trail. And a trail, yeah, this is where this gets a little more complicated. So you might have said, well, wait, there are two paths between A and C, because I can go A here, 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 or just to this node and, and down, right? So doesn't that represent two paths? So a trail is actually a stronger definition. A trail is, uh, means that I never go back through the same node. So if you notice, when I went to the root and then came back, I'm gonna need more names for these nodes, right? So there's a path A, D, E, D, C, but that path went through D twice. There's another path A, D, E, here, B, I could go all the way back and I could just keep cycling around as many times as I want, but all those other paths are gonna include some node multiple times. And so a trail never includes the same node more than once. And so the short, there's only one trail between A and C, and that goes like this. Um, there might be multiple paths. If I allow a path to repeat itself through the same nodes, you can imagine just going back and forth between these nodes a bunch of times and then to C, right? But that is gonna hit D multiple times. And so it's really not a path that should have been more specific. It's this idea of a trail within the graph. 
So if there are two nodes in a tree, there's one trail between them, a trail being a path that never, where any node only appears at most once. So I can't repeat myself. I can't go back through a node that I've already visited. So that's the technical definition of a tree. It's a graph with some special properties.